Hi friends, welcome back. I'm here to do a quick little flip of the Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge Traveler's Notebook that I'm using for the giveaway. This is one of them. Um, the other one is pretty much the same. I mean, there's a few little, um, it's arranged slightly different, but uh, pretty much the same stuff. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip of this. And then um, I was surprised to find out that I was actually the winner of um, Jessica, I'm a cool mom, the, the lady that kind of started the challenge. Um, I won the junk journal that she made. So I'm going to open that and show it to you. And I haven't even opened it yet. So I'll be, it'll be a complete surprise for me other than what we've all seen on YouTube. Um, and then um, I'm going to do the drawing for this on Friday. Friday is the, let's see, today's 11th, 12th, 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th um, and I'm gonna do two uh, I did have a couple Canadian gals um, enter so I've got at least two or three international um, people that have entered the drawing because I'm gonna do one for international and one for um, in the US so you still have time just comment and tell me where you're from or you know like US or international and then I'll do um, a random drawing. Then I have to take a little drink of water. Um, and then I'll do the drawing on Friday and um, let y'all know. I'm filming in a different location today. I am in my living room in front of the picture window and I've got some um, studio lighting up, but it's still, the lighting's not great. It's that time of year here in Portland where it gets it's just dark and the sun is at a weird angle. So hopefully this will work. You're gonna hear my dogs and my cats and my kids um, in and out and hopefully that won't be too distracting. So anyway, this is um, the, I made this from the junk journal leftovers. I purchased um, a gift bag that I didn't end up using in my the junk journal I made for myself. And so I used it to make this and this, Oh wait, this isn't the one, the other one like that. You can see that this is the bottom. So um, I used the gift bag. I lined it with some um, paper. This is actually just scratch paper. It did not come from the Dollar Tree. Um, my dog is walking past. Hopefully they won't knock the camera and stuff. And um, so anyway, I sewed it uh, around because the bag was, creased you know as, as a gift bag is there's the sides and the bottom and the folds and stuff so to make it um, stay a little flatter I went ahead and sewed um, some cardstock or some scrap of paper or something on the inside it's not quite as heavy as cardstock but it's a little thicker than just regular paper uh, this is from a scrap of paper that I sewed um, some napkin on and these are just scraps this is what I trimmed off the edge of the paper and I cut this out of a scrap of the calendar pages so I got a little pocket there this is the book pages that I tore out of that book this is the one that I kind of burned but I really like the way that looked so I was gonna keep it for myself but I put it in here for one of y'all lucky viewers and um, I made some little envelopes with the calendar pages and this is just some journaling paper in there. I purchased, I have forgot about this, but I had purchased some coloring pages, coloring books from the Dollar Tree. And so I put a couple of those pages in there. Book page. Uh, this is from the cal a calendar scrap. So you open it here and you also have a pocket here. Um, this is the old, uh, handwriting paper from the Dollar Tree that my kids did their handwriting practice on. So it's some um, of the uh, napkin there. This is a tag that I made. This is also a pocket up here. And I have calendar page, pocket, journal spot, more journal, coloring book. Uh, when you use this, this coloring book paper is, it's like really cheap newsprint type paper it's very fragile and when I use fragile paper in my journals like this I'm, I'm not I'm fine with it I like the, the what it adds to it I just reinforce it with some washi tape 
or um, I'll glue some paper there because it will rip really easily but I like it uh, so it's it's not a problem I just reinforce it so you're welcome I was gonna do that for you but then I thought I would let whoever gets this journal do it themselves because they may want to use something that goes with um, the scheme of what they're using this page for so just keep that in mind you might want to reinforce some of the more delicate papers I did a lot of, a lot of sewing in this one I didn't sew in the one I made for myself because I was thinking that the dollar since it was a Dollar Tree challenge and I don't didn't get my sewing machine from the Dollar Tree but then I broke the rules um, for this one so so there's another pocket this is a journal flip out little tuck spot more journaling and a pocket so this is just a very simple traveler's notebook that you can do um, you can keep it simple and just put pictures and write in here or you can embellish it even more I didn't put a tie around it because if it if you wanted to put it in um, like a cover like a, a what is it a Midori um, now I can't remember it's not Hobonichi it's Midori I don't have a real Midori I have um, a leather like one but I don't ever put my these in here because these are more like collage books and I don't really carry them around with me I keep them in a basket but anyway I thought I'd just let whoever receives this decide how they want to um, close it if they want closure or what so anyway that's that now on to the fun stuff but first I'm gonna have well that was fun too but I have to take a drink of water okay so this is from Jessica came in the mail today let's open it and see I was so surprised she did the Facebook live and I usually miss her Facebook lives but I just happened to be on my computer on my laptop or my iPad and I wasn't feeling well so I was just kind of sitting in bed and it popped up in my alerts and I thought eh, I'll just pop on over there I've never caught it live before and just when I popped over there let me open this so you can she said Laura and um, so Laura just send me a DM or whatever and I was like huh another Laura and then somebody that was on the Facebook live commented and they said another organ crafter and I was like oh another Laura name or another crafter and organ named Laura and then I realized it was me and I was like super excited so anyway that was pretty that was funny so okay here we go I always I love these um, popcorn bags I get them from the Dollar Tree all the time oh she packed it full of all kinds of goodies wow let's see so of course I will use this in my journals I just have some washi nice wow Jessica that's a these are a lot of goodies so some washi tape and I don't even have I think I might have this one but all the others are and I've used this one a lot too all the others are new so yay it's like Christmas okay and some little cards that look like you can um, they're a kind of a, a texture almost feels like watercolor paper but not quite maybe more like marker paper um, these are cool so you can color those make tags out of them or um, journal on them fun index cards you can never have too many index cards as a journaler little pocket super cute little bag nice oh these layaway tags I have been wanting a layaway tag <laughs> it seems silly but I didn't like it just reminds me of when I was a kid and my parents would put stuff on layaway um, for Christmas and when I was little my dad was he worked for the sh he was a sheriff well he wasn't a sheriff he was like a deputy um, 
but he was a young deputy and he worked part-time for Montgomery Wards and um, as a security guard at night and so I, I'm sure he got a discount and my parents would put um, Christmas stuff on layaway and so like the layaway tag just reminds me of um, that time like when the the Montgomery Wards and the Sears um, look or uh, what did they call the Sears wish book would come out and us me and my brothers would circle everything that we wanted which is pretty much everything so cool I'm so excited about that CD cases or envelopes a little glassy bag more bags this, this one's really pretty okay ah Pictionary <laughs> that's funny first edition music paper some tickets more Pictionary those are fun I love old game cards this is super pretty I wonder if this is one of her pronouns I think she does digital right Jessica you do digital art uh, digital stuff in your Etsy shop don't you I'll have to look and see that's really pretty okay so here we go so I saw this on on her YouTube channel but it really you really can't on the channel it it looks so much different in person it's uh, much even prettier um, the fabric that she used on here is like a what do they call that damask 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 it's a textured it's kind of shiny textured um, very pretty let's open this up here got a little um, tuck spot here oh these are napkin pockets those are cool I love putting um, tags like this on my on my journals on the tops and on the sides out of just anything I can get a hold of so it could be lace it could be a scrap of paper it could be um, a bread tag tab off of you know the loaf of bread um, I have used um, oh I had um, dental work done and there was this little um, tab that they like stuck on the side of my cheek from the x-ray or whatever you know like one of those markers I use that in one of them um, I just love adding funky little tabs okay so you got a tuck spot there a little pocket some nice dyed paper message pad pretty I love the paper. I love it when the paper looks um, rumpled and and stained and all of that. That's like my favorite. More, another pocket. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I, I think I saw that at the um, Dollar Tree. It's kind of, um, it's, it's a sticker, but it feels kind of rubbery. Let's see what this is. More paper. Ooh, it smells good. It um, smells like mint and um, not exactly clove. It smells like cloves, maybe. That's pretty cool. I like coffee stained paper, but I and I love coffee, but I don't really like the smell of old coffee. So I'm not, I don't really like the smell of freshly coffee dyed paper so much. Tea, tea is better, but this is really good, this clove. I might try that when I coffee dye, maybe add some um, like vanilla or uh, some other spice that might cover up that old coffee smell. Ooh, lover. Another pocket, a tag. This is so cool. 
I love this picture. I have this, I got this calendar too. And I like this, um, this picture a lot. More pockets. And this is from packaging, which I like to use packaging a lot too. And I mean, it's perfect because it's a nice weight cardstock. And then um, a lot of times, this one is has some nice journaling um, area on it. But a lot of times the packaging is decorated because, you know, they want to catch your eye. And so it makes great decoration in your um, journals. I said when I was showing my journal, I have this page in my journal. And I was saying that if I had seen this page first, I probably would probably would have um, designed my journal around this color palette. I love this page so much. The warm colors, it just, it says fall to me. Another little pocket. Lots of little tags, those are cool. Something in here, A little note piece of note paper. I like all the lace. And there's my favorite page again. And then there's one of these. I like these too, these photo sleeves. I like to sew them into, um, into my journals and then you can have a fold out thing or, or tape them. They're fun. A little something in here, more book paper. Card, this is great. I'm so excited, I can't wait to use this. So this was from I'm a Cool Mom, um, Jessica. I will put her, I'm sure y'all know who she is, but <laughs> in case you don't, I'll put her YouTube channel in the description box. And, um, yeah, and you should check out, it's a hashtag, hashtag Dollar Tree JJ Challenge, and go and watch what everyone's done. Um, her, she's she's done with her part of it, and you know, she drew the winner of her contest and all of that stuff, but um, some people, you can start at any time, and um, a lot of people participated, and there's a lot of great videos out there, so definitely check those out. And um, don't forget, I'm going to draw for um, two winners um, on Friday for a traveler's notebook um, junk journal um, based on the Dollar Tree channel. And I, one is going to be U.S. and one is going to be international. So just comment. Tell me if you're U.S. or international. Um, it'd be awesome if you liked my you know, like and subscribe. That's always super cool. And, um, you know, it's, I, it's nice. Um, so yeah, I hope that you give it a try. Um, it really does help you kind of think out of the box. Um, especially when your, your, um, supplies are limited, you really got to get creative on what you're going to do with them, um, to, to get a variety of different uh, embellishments, I guess, if you want to say, um, how you're going to use that. So, um, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching and I will be back on Friday to uh, draw two names. Bye.